Welcome everyone, Denzel Rodriguez here, having a wonderful time at FinCon 2023 in New Orleans. And I'm with my friend, client, business partner, confidant, brother in Christ, so many, so many uh, powerful titles and relationships that we've been able to really, I think, build over the years. Got to know your family, your son, and you've got to know mine as well. Um, you're gonna be coming to my live event later this year, December 16th, so I'm excited for that. I'll give you the floor to you know, share a few words and, and speak. But in today's video, I wanna really do a little update on your business so you can take us back to when you started it, mm -hmm. specifically the YouTube channel. Okay. Right, because there's people watching that are contemplating wanting to start a YouTube channel, how to get it going, and they're looking at the biggest, baddest <laughs> gurus, and they're saying things way up here. Yeah. So on this channel, what I like to do is I like to I like to really focus on that ground game, mm -hmm. that, that that initial right beginning, and capture people early on while they're in it, yeah. and see what are you doing, what's working, what's not working, and maybe that'll motivate the next yeah. person that's really considering starting a YouTube channel, want to impact lives, they want to help people, they want to they want to serve. Yes. So give us a little insight where you're at well, right now. Well, thank you so much, you know, Denzel, for you know opening uh, and it to get right to the meat and potatoes it was it was during an ecclesia gathering where you presented the idea of being able to be a financial coach without licenses that's where the idea began and so you broke down so th this is how you did yours this is how you can do yours you had the gathering i want to say late 2022 yeah right. around that time i actually got laid off for the third time mm -hmm. and it was the biggest blessing so this is q3 q4 ish right. of 2022 22. where you you discovered okay i could do this right all right right gotcha so before you ro you rolled that out i actually bought a course about how to get started on YouTube. So I had, I already had it in my head that this is where we were going. But what ended up happening is for three months, hitting the record button was the hardest thing to do. Not because I'm a shy person, because I've, I've talked on stages, I've taught, I literally, I mean, getting in front of people is not a fear for me. That little camera was a huge hesitation. Mm. So that, so it took three months before I could literally go record. Mm. Three months. Three months. That's you know being fully transparent here. Like th this is probably something you're gonna go through as well. And just being able to push through that. And some people are gonna push through it faster than others. And so in your case, 90 days roughly, almost three months just to hit that red button. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, okay, we're three months in. It's still 2022, right? We're approaching the end or we're we at the top of the year? So we're at the end. And okay. literally what I said was January 1st, 2023, I'm hitting record no matter what. So I hit record and it starts and starts going. And what I found is that when you go inside your head and you say, the story that I have and the mission that I have is so important, people need to hear it. If I keep it to myself, I'm robbing them of the information that they need and the transformation that they're looking for. So the, the catalyst for me was open your mouth. You're the messenger. There's a message. And if, if I could go back to the reason why I couldn't hit the record button, it was because I was always afraid of what would they think? Will they like me? Is it going to, is it going to grow? All the questions that people have. And I found out ironically enough that a lot of people that had started their channels had gone through the same thing. So I'm like, Oh, I'm not alone in this. Maybe I should get going. So January uh, channel launch. Love it. And to just share on my part, I was recording. I was hitting the record button, but I wasn't uploading to YouTube. So I was just recording and nobody was seeing the content. So for about, I want to say maybe two or three months, I was recording content with my phone in my car, one of those little magnetic things. And I was literally just looking at the camera from time to time, but focusing on driving, obviously, to and from work and just talking about my day, talking about things that I'm learning about finance, you know, new things. And so that was like three months ish or so of recording content in 2018, top of the year. I didn't actually post my first video on YouTube till about August of 2018. So we're talking almost six months longer than, than mine. Mm -hmm. So again, People are gonna move a little bit faster, but the point is that we both got to that point where we made that commitment and put ourselves out there because we know we have a message That's right. to share. God 
gave us gifts, skills, and talents, and for us to not use those things, many consequences yeah. for not pursuing, fulfilling your purpose in life. And these are not good consequences. These are very, very bad consequences that haunt us internally and then can make us bitter, can make us ungrateful, can some people walk away from their faith. There's so many different things that, that it's, a, it's a ripple effect that mm -hmm. can happen in a, in, a, in a good way if you actually you know press forward and also in a, in a bad way. Right. That's right. So now it's January 2023, hitting the record button. When did you actually upload your first video on YouTube? Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> okay, I love it. So you just, you hit record, and like, did you even edit the video at all? Or you no. Just... Yeah, so lovely. I... Lovely. Technology for me is the farthest thing from uh, ability. So what I did well is do, uh, I would do a Zoom call <clears throat> and I, rec I would record it and download it to, okay. the, to the computer. Yeah. And then what I learned was go ahead and download it. I love Zoom because it gives you like, like, a, like a zip file for the audio and for... And I was just like, no, okay, here's, here's this. I liked the idea of presenting something that was at least eye-catching. So I, I went to Canva and I learned, actually, I was pretty good at this. I liked it. I went to Canva, I started doing some thumbnails mm -hmm. and I'm like, you know, some catchy thumbnails. I'm like, okay, if I do the thumbnail, I could just figure out how to do the, the description. And then I went through the, the first one and just loaded. I'm like, you know what? It's, it's got to go. So it, it, the video's got to go, no matter what. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not talking perfection. I'm not talking, like no editing whatsoever at all. And so the videos start going out and then I start to feel like I can do this. One of the things somebody said to me was you gotta be consistent. So I began to be consistent and just doing it at least weekly. And so where, where are we at? Fast forward, it's October, 2023. Mm -hmm. We're at FinCon now. We're at this event where money and media come together. Yeah. Right, there, we're, we're walking in the halls of people that have 1.5 million subscribers, 20 million followers, 10 million followers. And then we're walking in, in the hallways where people have 1,000 or 500 or haven't even started yet. So there's like all facets here, mm -hmm. right? Where are we at today in terms of how many videos, off the top of your head estimated, have you created so far? Mm -hmm. how, how consistent have you been? Were there any failures or any um, you know uh, points where you weren't consistent and then you got back on it? You know, share a little bit about that. And then a little stats today. You know, amount of subscribers, mm -hmm. amount of views. If you you know know off the top of your head or I estimated do. numbers. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So if you are hesitant about getting started, this is so the number one thing was push the button. So moving forward, I began to be very consistent and. And I started having that syndrome, like who's watching me? Who Right now, I have 104 videos. You're gonna laugh at this and it's okay for you to laugh. I'm okay with that. I think it's like maybe 154 subscribers. But what I found was that the message I needed to be and, and, and rebrand. So the, from probably from June, July, August, it was a matter of rebranding. So kind of like the video uploading stopped. But here's what I found. And this is this is something I think is pretty cool. So like everybody else, you want to know, you know, who's watching you? How's the, how is it growing? I do like to look at those analytics. And some of my videos were getting maybe, maybe tops 100 views. And again, it's okay to laugh. <laughs> Right. But one thing that I found was somebody said, you start, start doing some, some shorts. And so top maybe 150 views on, on some of my videos. So I was with my family. We're traveling to, to Chicago. And you know how when you're on the road and you're in the middle lane and you got this left lane guy that doesn't move. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, how annoying is that guy, right? So I'm just like looking at him. So I look in the mirror and I'm actually in the driver in, in the passenger side and I see this cop and he lays right right on top of him. The guy doesn't even notice, doesn't even move. I'm like, you know what? Let me record this. It was 10 seconds. I went like this and I recorded the what was going on. It was the worst video. I want to say it was 5,000 views <laughs> for 10 seconds. Like I'm I my message is so powerful. Yeah. It's so good and I'm getting 100 views on that video. But this thing gives me, so what I learned was go ahead and integrate everything that YouTube does, do what YouTube likes. Like YouTube wants people to watch material on their platform so that YouTube can run ads on those videos that people are watching. So if you can just figure out what people are searching for, what they're looking for, what they're being suggested based on the 
skills, gifts, and talents that you know are gonna benefit someone, they're gonna help someone. There's people out there in the world that are looking for it. It's just a matter of you being that authority figure and understanding that you're not gonna be that authority figure right away. Has there been cases where people just explode? Yes. Is there a strategy where you can explode? Yes. Is it gonna cost money? Yes. Is it gonna cost you time? Yes. Yeah. So all of it is, is a yes, right? What it really just boils down to is your willingness to step out, learn these skills, put them into practice, do them even if you're bad at it, mm -hmm. right? And you'll grow in the process. So the, the biggest things that I know will lead to success in Miner's case is A, he hit the red button. He just hit the record button. Two, he put it out there for people to watch. And three, there's a consistency of material being put out there. He said 104 videos <laughs> from January 2023 till now, correct? Right. So that's around 10, 11 months almost, right? Of putting out content over a period of time, 104 videos. Subscribers, by the way, if you're brand new, subscribers don't mean anything. Mm -hmm. They're really not important. It's like a vanity metric. It's really not important at all. What's important is the viewers, right? So you said you have 154-ish subscribers, mm -hmm. but you're getting, say, 100 views on a video, maybe 50, maybe 150 views, and then a random video that you post for 10 seconds gets 5,000 views, mm -hmm. right? If you guys add up and you look at your channel, you look up the total amount of views, think just think about does that amount of views look like in person, mm. right? Like if Miner gets 5,000 views on one video or 150 or just say 100 views on one video, imagine there was 100 people in the room mm. that you were talking to in front of people. That's literally what's happening, right? And then depending on how long they're, you know, watching the material, as long as you have some kind of a call to action, action steps for people to take, you're now gonna get a recurring, say, viewer that can be eventually a customer over a period of time. And it's just a matter of sticking with it and reminding people of what you do, how you do it, and how it can benefit them. And you might have to say it 500 different ways, right? Yeah. Just stick with it. Any, any like aha moments or like, cause you're in the grind right now. You're in the building stage, you're in the, you're in the disappointing phase mm -hmm. where you've you've been called into a direction which whenever whenever we find our gift and our purpose it's immediately uh, presented with yeah. adversity obstacles yeah. challenges and, and a disappointing so we're in that disappointing phase so to speak which is really if you look at it the right way it's not disappointing at all it's just we have a problem of comparing ourselves to that guru that's made that has a million 10 million a billion views right, right? and we're over here with our little measly couple hundred views here but t to me like my mindset when I first dropped my video and got 28 views I was ecstatic so it, it just set a standard for me like s my standard was so low that anything above it was like I'm I'm flipping tables I'm excited like oh my god 28 people just watched my video so that if you could have that mindset instead of only 28 people watch my video mm -hmm. no 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 28 people just watch my video that's insane mm -hmm. Let me comment, let me respond to those viewers. Let me, let my next video, I'm gonna ask them, hey, for the 28 people that watch my video, can you comment below? I'd like to have an interaction with you. I'd like to have a discussion with you and figure out what did you find so valuable about that video? Mm -hmm. And that's gonna course correct and help me continue to make more and more content. And know that you don't have to have a huge following to have a huge impact and generate a large amount of income for your, for your family. Mm -hmm. So any aha moments or uh, additional things you'd like to add here before yeah. we wrap up. So yeah, I, I want to talk about the aha moment, but I want uh, to go back to the, the number of people that I was in front of. So when you're talking about viewers, I mean, the analytics say it's about 26,000. Okay, I'm like, if I hadn't hit that red button, I wouldn't have those 26,000. So that's, that's huge. huge. And the second thing, which I think is probably the most important one, a journalist had to go to school and had to be authorized by some media company to be able to do this. YouTube gives you the ability to become a journalist today, right now, by just hitting that button. And the other thing is, if, if you're a journalist and you do covering the news, it's like, okay, so you cover the news for that day, and then some, some people saw you that day, and that's it. With YouTube, I don't even know where the traffic is coming from. I mean, we could have somebody in Malaysia taking a look at this video, or somebody in Guatemala, where I'm from originally, or around the world, and 
literally like the connections around the world are going to grow but i thought the most important thing is is that it's something that is if you consider what the impact will be later on that it actually becomes an asset an asset that will work 24 hours around the clock and then in the years to come so being able to use the long form the video content it's been a big thing having a platform like youtube i mean it's 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 the the great equalizer it I'm not going to be, I'm not comparing myself to the gurus because I don't need to. Like, I'm so confident with what the message and the purpose that God has given me that I'm going to, I'm going to do God's will and whatever happens from that. Like, so the, I guess maybe the parting message to me was like, set it and forget it. And don't be so concerned about the subscribers, the views, I'm, you know, just be consistent and believe in yourself. Absolutely. Two things I'll leave with you is number number one god will make room for you right mm -hmm. so it reminds me that even when i talk to secular non-believers they understand there is no competition when you step out into this online social media space youtube needs more content like youtube that's their biggest pain uh, point yeah. right now is they actually need more content creators they need more people. so if you think that it's saturated you have no idea. You have no idea what YouTube's vision is and their goal to be in everyone's home to to four billion people on YouTube. Right? I think they have a billion plus, somewhere around a little over a billion active users. They're thinking, how do we get to probably double that, triple that, just have the whole entire world say there's seven, eight billion people on the planet and they only have a, a billion. Mm. That's what. So to us, oh my God, billions, a lot of people. If you actually look at the metrics in terms of how many actual content creators there are on, on YouTube, I want to say it's over a hundred million, maybe, maybe even less than that. So there's massive opportunities. That's, that's big there. No competition whatsoever. God will make room for you. The second thing I want to share is in terms of the volume of content that you should consider producing over a period of time. King Solomon had over 5,000 pieces of content, I would assume, right? Of, in terms of what he wrote in the Bible, the amount of songs he sung. And if you think about the amount of speaking engagements, the amount of consultations, the amount of motivational seminars, workshops he had for governors mm -hmm. and princes and, and prime ministers and other kings and queens of other nations, put that all into perspective. He probably has multiple thousands of, of content material written right you don't need to write right if, if you're not good at that you can mm -hmm. just hit that record button start sharing your message get it out there stay consistent and focus on who you're serving right yeah that's good yeah. and that's <laughs> that's it so where can we find you on youtube so uh, at the moment i am you know the brand is still the matters of eternity and at the uh, the launch of the rebrand will be coming but if if you just go to matters of eternity you'll find a path to a rebrand is gonna be Trusted Covenant, which is Christian financial coaching, legacy planning, taking into account that it's not about the stuff that we have, it's about what we're gonna do with it for generations to come. I love your idea of planning for the next 100 years and be ready to go right now. Yeah. So just think about how powerful that message is. We, we're not guaranteed tomorrow here on earth. I mean, I could, you know, on the way back home from the conference, maybe not make it home. I, I, that's a reality that I think people really need to start digging into. So your legacy is about how to prepare for that. And then the speaking engagements, you know, looking to connect with people who have event planners so that if the message that I have resonates with you you know your audience to be able to you know connect me to to that to that audience and i i think the consistency you know i went through the hard part of hitting the the the, the green i mean the the red button being consistent now i learned that i needed to rebrand and the rebrand was basically based on the fact that the message that i have is very difficult for people to swallow so we have to take a different angle to make it a little bit easier to is it to a different youtube channel going to become or it's the same channel so and that's one of the things that, you know, that, that I've been dealing with, like, because it, it could easily be changed. Yeah. And I'm thinking, because it already has that traction, should we just rebrand it and, uh, and rename it and then somehow have, like, a t maybe Matters of Return, it becomes a tagline, right? Something along those lines. That's what I would do. Yeah. And then just, you know, basically rebrand. So right now, Matters of Eternity, but eventually, you know, eventually it's going to be Trusted 
covenant, which is how, how we plan to launch. And then if I could just add one more thing, that it, it's that the, the voice, uh, the tone, the message. Um, I partnered with a ghostwriter who uh, has taken the task for Trusted Covenant to say, the message is good, use these words. The message is good, take this twist. The message is good, the content is gonna be good, try this so that eventually as we continue to to you know to journal and basically you know take document this document the story the, the, the story of my daughter's legacy eventually will lead to a book deal and maybe even a short form documentary that's maybe 45 minutes about everything that we're doing and so i can't wait to see man it's it's actually really interesting to be in this space because in the in the online space you can reach a lot more people and you're not limited to any boundaries, any cities, any any countries. You're just out there. So I can't wait to see. I want to thank you. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for your time. Action steps. Visit Minus Channel Matters of Eternity on on YouTube, and you can reach out to him directly there. If you want to work with me, either on your personal finances or with Minor on your personal finances, get your money right. And then also, if you're considering starting a YouTube channel, getting out there, providing impact, we both can speak to it. I have a program I can run through and we can you know, craft together a strategy that makes sense. We'll avoid burnout and we'll focus on who, who we need to serve, who can we help. And that's really it. I'm just so excited to be at the beginning stages. And that's where I wanna be for you as well. Those of you who really are committed to doing this, like I wanna bring you on my channel. I wanna interview you at those beginning stages, get more content out there so that people really can see, wait, it's really not all that that difficult if I focus on who I want to serve and who I want to help, yeah. right? And just get over myself, right? Get over my own self-limiting beliefs and all the lies that you tell yourself in your head. So with that, have a wonderful day. God bless, and we'll be talking soon. God bless everybody.